The scripture says in John 8 and 36, If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And I want to talk a little bit about that today because I think a lot of people are losing hope that they cannot be free from whatever they are addicted to or whatever lifestyle that they are in that they know that is not of God. We're losing hope because we're making more excuses than anything. We're saying it's okay to sin because of God's grace. And it's okay to sin or stay in this lifestyle because God loves us. But what I want you guys to understand is that God loves you so much that he sent his son to make you free. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. So whatever you're in, whatever may just seem like it has a, 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 I'm sorry, a hold or a grip on you, know that Christ can make you free. There are many answers out there, but there's only one solution, and that's Jesus Christ. Y'all, be encouraged. There are so many things that I know that I need to be delivered from, physically, emotionally, spiritually, everything. And I just thought that, I, I just didn't know if I was going to make it, but I knew that I couldn't do this in my own strength. It was only God who delivered me and set me free. And I want to encourage you guys to keep going. Don't let anything or anyone uh, stop you from receiving your deliverance, your breakthrough, your freedom in Christ Jesus. And know that God is faithful even when we're unfaithful. And yes, he loves us and he wants to set us free. And you can receive that freedom through Christ Jesus. So with that being said, I really pray and hope that you continue to keep the faith. You continue to hold on to Christ and that his word and this scripture really encouraged you on today. You guys have a wonderful day and continue to trust in the Lord.